Hello everyone, my name is Gerald Hong and uh, welcome back to InfoTrack TV. I think it has been uh, some time, quite a while that I have spoken to you guys about some products and updates. So um, for those of you who have actually um, watched a couple of videos about some products that I've actually talked about, I think the last one was like around two years ago um, about Power BI. You guys, uh, those of you who have not uh, watched that before, you can go and try to explore what is Power BI. Now, it has been two years, so I'm not going to um, talk much about what is the introduction to Power BI. I'm just going to give you guys a little bit of updates, okay, since uh, two years have passed. Now, I'm going to make this a bit short and uh, casual. Now, first of all, for those of you who don't really know what is Power BI, okay, let me just do a quick 15 seconds uh, explanation of what is Power BI. Now, it's actually a cloud-based service by Microsoft, right, that allows uh, user empowerment or self-service data analytics, which means everyone out there can actually build their reports and can have information right at their fingertips. Now, those of you who are already on Power BI, congratulations because you are now using one of the hottest selling service up there on the market. Now, I've been training a lot on Power BI for the past two, three years, and I've actually watched the product um, grow from zero to hero, and much have been updated since then. Now, what I'm going to talk about will be some updates to the data connectors available right now on Power BI. Now, majority of the time, okay, when you compare to, to those days two years ago, would be um, a lot of on-premise sources like databases, you know, as well as files, you know, and structured data. But today, of course, we are at the era of cloud. So, of course, logically speaking, there will be a lot more cloud-based data sources such as Microsoft's own Azure SQL Data Warehouse, the Azure Data Lake Storage, the Azure Machine Learning Service, Azure Data Bricks, and Data Factories. So these would be uh, all the new updates to that. Now, as opposed to that, of course, there are well over um, 20 to 30 newly added online services which Microsoft can connect to. Now, of course, what has been updated recently would be, of course, um, Microsoft added and uh, uh, an online streaming kind of analytics okay, where you can project and also analyze data in real time. Now, this is actually added, I think, a, a year ago probably. And of course, um, what is more exciting today when you're building a report is that you can also include a feature known as key influences, which allows you to have a deeper analysis to your data. Now, time and time and again, right, okay, when I've conducted many of these trainings, um, Participants would actually find it a bit, um, yeah, well, of course, they have got multiple visuals on their reports and uh, they so-called can see uh, all the data projections and the visualizations. But one of the challenges or one of that many challenges would be if you have two particular um, visualizations and you want to make more deeper meaning out of it, it is sometimes quite hard to do that. Now, let's focus, look, for example, in one single visualization. You've got two bars, two data series indicating two separate categories. Now, one bar is higher, one bar is lower. Probably you're comparing uh, the month of July with the previous month of June. And you see July is slightly higher than June. Now, one of the things that you can do right now is to right click on that bar and you can see there's a new menu item called Analyze where you can actually see that uh, the item is supposed to explain what causes the increment over the previous one compared to the previous month. So this is actually one of the um, uh, very good, um, exciting feature that uh, we have actually included where you no longer need to find it out yourself, but Power BI Deep Analysis can now find out quickly or what are the key factors that contributed to the increment or the decrement over the previous uh, bar. And of course, uh, today they have unified also uh, your self-service analytics provided in Power BI with your enterprise analytics such as SQL Server reporting services. Now, what we have today, right here, is that you can actually embed or even call out uh, all the RDL reports based on your SQL Server reporting services together with Power BI, so they can coexist right now. 
Power BI report, okay, navigating over to uh, a SQL Server reporting services report, which is an RDL, and vice versa. Of course, uh, much has been improved since uh, the Power BI free service or the free subscription over the pro subscription. Today, they do have a Power BI premium subscription, now, which is not really a user-based subscription model, but they are capacity-based. Now, this one is actually to bring Power BI up another level, whereby in the organization level, they can actually opt to have uh, a mixture of on-premise type of uh, reports mixed with the cloud-based reports. And you can now allow free users to be able to open up uh, or to receive sharing from a Power BI Pro developed reports. Now, of course, last but not least, what you can find today is that Power BI is already a first-class citizen into a new platform called the Office 365 Power Platform. Now, this is actually a unified uh, platform allowing Power BI to coexist with and work with Power Apps and Flow. Now, I'll have a separate video record to tell you guys uh, about what is Microsoft Power Platform, which is whereby I will explain to you how Power Apps together with Microsoft Flow and Power BI work together to give you that particular Power Platform. So, well, do take note that uh, we do have a lot of courses, right? And part of that again would be a Power BI course, standalone of that, and of course, a Power Platform course as well. So, there you go. Um, I'll see you guys uh, in the next video and please do watch out for my Power Platform video as well. I'll just introduce you guys to that shortly. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon.